Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. If you have been watching my channel, you know that my upcoming trip to Asia is coming up in two days. And if this is your first time here, then I'll be uh, going to Asia on a three week trip and I'll be visiting countries like India, Bangladesh. So there'll be lots of uh, business class cabin reviews, business class food reviews and business class lunch reviews and including street food, uh, several world heritage sites and possibly tea garden uh, in high altitude mountains so there'll be lots of travel videos coming up uh, if you haven't subscribed already this is the time to subscribe now and today i'll be presenting a video uh, showing you the three great cars that will accompany me on this trip and uh, these are the three great cars i'll be taking with me so i'll explain you uh, why i'm taking uh, these three great cars uh, rather than any other great cars uh, you may already know that uh, I have 20 plus great cars and I have uh, 800 plus great scores. Uh, so I chose only these three great cars based on the following facts. So the first thing is that uh, my trip is actually uh, going to be above 21 days and most Canadian great cars, uh, the travel medical travel insurance is only for 21 days. So this is one of the great cars which has a longer uh, travel uh, medical travel insurance coverage and this is called the british airways visa infinite card so this card offers 31 uh, days uh, medical travel insurance so for that reason i'll be keeping this card with me and another reason is that uh, the visa infinite card concierge arranged uh, about 50 percent of the trips for me uh, so I will be keeping this card in case I need to call them or anything. So the my my trip is done by two concierges, uh, all the arrangements and everything. So one of them is the Visa and Fin concierge, and the other one is the BMO World Elite concierge. Uh, so for the Visa and Fin concierge, uh, and uh, because of the medical travel insurance, so I'll be keeping this card with me. The next card I have here is the BMO World Elite uh, Reverse card and uh, this card uh, has a good concierge service as well and they arranged about 50 percent of my trip uh, via their concierge so for that reason i'll be keeping this card with me as well and another reason uh, for this card is that uh, you know that the, the whole trip is business class however i have a very small or short trip from dhaka to new delhi which is about I believe two three hours and for that trip I did not use any business class flight or I did not uh, redeem any points because it didn't make sense for me to just you know uh, do a business class trip for uh, two three hours and waste my points so I purchased that ticket paying cash and whenever you're paying cash flying economy class then you do not get business class lounge access automatically so you have to have either priority pass or any sort of lounge membership program or you can uh, pay uh, by uh, paying full by cash uh, to access lounge so this credit card bmo world elite uh, reverse mastercard comes with four lounge passes uh, and uh, free annual membership plus four uh, free entrances uh, for lounges so for that reason i'll be using this uh, card uh, on that short trip uh, where I do not have where uh, when I'm not flying business class to access lounges so that's another reason for this card so for this card uh, the reason for keeping this card two reasons one is lounge access and the other one is the concierge uh, information I have uh, which uh, they helped uh, to make the trip possible so in for that reason I would like to keep that card with me as well and then the third credit card I have is the Marriott Rewards Premier Visa credit card. So this credit card actually one of the few credit cards in Canada that does not charge foreign currency conversion fee or foreign transaction fee, 
when you're charging in foreign countries. Uh, most other credit cards charge a 2.5% uh, foreign currency fee. For example, these two charges 2.5% foreign currency fee, but this one doesn't charge anything and uh, it gives also better rates than other credit cards. Uh, so for that reason, I'll be keeping this credit card with me in case I need to make any credit card transactions. But when I'm uh, traveling uh, some countries, I always try not to use credit cards uh, in general because uh, due to, uh, you know, uh, just uh, due to for safety reasons or other reasons. Uh, but in case I need to use that, this is the card I'm going to be using. And another reason for this card is that it has a very low uh, credit limit it doesn't have a high credit limit like these two so this one has a very low credit limit so in case something happens I wouldn't uh, be stressed out or I would be worrying too much so that's another reason so these are the three, three credit cards I'll be carrying with me uh, so that trip starts in two days to today's Friday I'll uh, start uh, from uh, Toronto Pearson Airport uh, in on Sunday evening so if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe now and follow the trip day by day uh, and there will be uh, more lots of interesting videos coming up. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you shortly. Bye.